Hello and welcome to the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading for the week of the 20th to the 26th of August. If, however, you felt called to, you know, click on this video at a time other than this, then trust that love still has a message for you. So keep in mind, this is a general reading, so I'm trying to channel as many messages as possible for as many people. However, if you would like a personal Twin Flame reading for your journey, uh, very detailed, I would love to do one for you, so feel free to check the link in the description below for that. So without further ado, let's see what the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine are up to this week. Alright, so for the Divine Feminine, I have pulled Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms, Soulmate, but this is a Twin Flame reading, so we're going for Twin Flame, yes, this is your Twin Flame, and the Nine of Swords. So, um... Right away for the Divine Feminine, I see this week lots of um, upheaval, lots of perhaps anxiety, nightmares even, like uh, not sleeping very well for some of you. So as the Knight of Swords, uh, the Nine of Swords, I'm sorry, um, you know, means. So for some of you, this has to do with unresolved trauma, I see. So if that's the case for you, I would highly recommend claiming your support in the form of uh, a map session. The mind alignment process, I went through it recently. It is a very gentle and easy way to heal through trauma. So if that is something you've been, uh, that has been really holding you back in your life, really making you feel drained, making you feel powerless, I highly recommend um, getting a map session. And the support afterwards is excellent. Um, yeah, I'm on my third week now. It feels so good to enjoy life free of trauma and um, you know, I used to have a huge problem like with panic attacks and anxiety all the time, but I don't really feel that anymore. It's uh, it's amazing. It's a huge transformation. So if that's something you've been struggling with, I highly recommend it. And the link is in the description if you feel like taking it out. So um, anxiety also has to do with not trusting, not surrendering to the divine. And the Council of Light is here to remind you that you're not on your own. You have the divine on your side, you have the ascended masters on your side, the angels. And all you need to do is call in their help, call in their assistance, and they'll be more than happy to support you in whatever it is on your twin flame journey. Remember that you and your twin flame are destined to be together. You can be together in this lifetime. Of course, um, there's some healing work to be done here because... Um, as a collective, humanity has been choosing separation from the divine for ages, and we don't need to judge that, all right, it is what it is. However, there's still some work to be done in terms of healing these separation beliefs, and when you heal those separation beliefs, you will fall into union naturally and easily with your twin flame. So, the process is very simple, it's really easy, and there is uh, lots of support available for you, and uh, if you're not sure where to start, Feel free to check out the description below. The Twin Flames Universe community has all this amazing support uh, for you on your journey. And uh, Twin Flame Ascension School specifically has brought over 30 Twin Flame couples into Harmonious Union. And it's guaranteed to work for you too. So if that's something you'd be interested in, feel free to check out um, the links below. And also keep in mind there's a sale going on. You know, it's a great opportunity to invest in that uh, right now if you are able to. And, uh, you know, the Twin Flame card has to do with confirmation, pretty much, that you're on, this, you're on the right path. And uh, it's important to remember not to attach to a certain person what it looks like on the outside, but always feeling, uh, to always follow the feeling in your heart. Does it feel good to keep talking to this person? Does it feel good and juicy to keep pursuing this person? You know, of course, uh, when you're going through opposites, even with your true Twin Flame, it's going to feel like, oh, get away from me, you know? <laughs> But um, I'm talking from a place of peace when you're not upset at all. Like, does it feel good to keep talking to this person or does it feel draining? And um, yeah, really, it's a good idea to examine all relationships in your life. And uh, it's similar to what they pulled for the Divine Masculine, actually. It's quite fun. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a good idea to examine your relationships in your life and see what feels good. Because with your twin flame, it's always going to feel natural. It's always going to feel peaceful. It's always going to feel good. Another important message I'm getting for this week is how important support is on this journey. And um, yeah, to manifest your harmonious union, you require a lot of support. And this support comes in many forms. It is um, a loving community. Uh, it is uh, a great coach that is always um, 
you know, pointing you towards the direction of love instead of ego. It's extremely important to have this guidance in your journey because um, the ego will try to trick you into believing that all this, you know, uh, what you're feeling for this person is not real. Or that, um, you know, you'll just be in this cycle forever and that nothing will ever get better or, you know, all those things, right? And you know what it is for you in your case. And, uh, you know, your ego will also try to trap you into thinking that, oh, this is exhausting when... Um, Loving never feels exhausting and uh, this is what the twin flame journey is all about. It's all about loving yourself unconditionally It's all about loving your twin flame unconditionally and um, building a relationship with the divine and Loving is our natural state of being it was what we were created for so it will never feel exhausting or bad So if something feels bad, I would highly recommend really looking at your heart looking at your feelings and healing through whatever it is with a mirror exercise it's never the love that feels exhausting, it's always the fear. And it is safe to surrender that fear is with this card, right? It's, it's exhausting to hold on to fear. But on the other hand, look at how loving this card is. Like, um, I'll bring it closer so you can see. You know, how loved you, you know, one feels when looking at this card, how supported. Like, you're at the center over here and there's, you know, great support all around you. And uh, everybody's cheering for your victory here. For your success on your journey you know it's um not like you'll be doing all this healing work in vain and uh you know your twin flame will never come to you even if it's you know the current person you're talking with is not your true twin flame you do have a twin flame you know it because you have this feeling in your heart all the healing work you do now you do for yourself and uh, to feel good to feel at peace and to come into union in all areas of your life with the divine and this is something wonderful, right? And uh, from this space, it is that you attract your harmonious to inflame union. So, you know, again, the ego will try to trick you into thinking, oh, you're doing this for the other person to come back. And why should you do this for them? But you're doing this for yourself. You know, don't you want to feel good? Everyone wants to feel good. Nobody wants to be miserable. Let's face it. So, and, you know, the more you choose peace and love, the more peace and love you'll attract in your life. So... It's safe to keep going in that direction. No more of the Nine of Swords energy. Like, it's safe to release that. <laughs> all right, so this is all I have for you this week, Divine Feminines. And let's move on to the Divine Masculines. Welcome, Divine Masculines, to your message for this week. So we have the same card this week from this deck, Birthing a New Age, which is um, Birthing New Creations, Dreaming a New World into Being. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And the Three of Cups. So... Three of Cups is a very um, friendship energy. It's all about evaluating the relationships currently in your life. Uh, what friendships feel good? What friendships don't feel good? And you might ask, how is that important for my twin flame journey? Well, the universe works uh, with something called the law of attraction. So the more energy you put into your intention, which in your case, I assume, is harmonious twin flame union if you're here, <laughs> let's face it, um, yeah, the more energy you put into something, the easier it will manifest and the quicker it will manifest, you know, the more exact it will be when it manifests. However, if you're leaking your energy away and relationships no longer serve you and make you feel drained, if you're giving your heart away, all these things are holding harmonious union back. And, um, you know, it's safe to release everything that no longer feels in alignment with who you truly are and... Um, you know, everything that no longer feels in alignment, just let it go, release it. And um, yeah, on the other side of this, you'll just find more good. It's not about um, being afraid of surrendering things. Because um, when you surrender something, something better comes to place. So it's safe to trust in that. And um, yeah, the Three of Cups is also about celebration and uh, finding things to be grateful for. A gratitude list also I'm getting for some of you. Because from a place of gratitude, this is when you manifest even more and, um, you know, the good thing. So if you're focusing your energy on complaining, for example, you attract more things to complain about. If you're focusing your energy on what you're grateful for, more things to be grateful for will manifest. So be really mindful of where you focus your energy. Focus on this celebration, on this abundance. Like, look at all those cups and how, you know, they're overflowing with good and with abundance and with fruits and you know, all these beautiful things. Like, uh, this is for you too. You can choose and claim your abundance right now. Your twin flame journey is not separate from, you know, your abundance journey, your life purpose journey. All of it is connected. It's all a part of the ascension. And when you ascend, all of humanity ascends because um, you're setting an example here. You're leading things. Like, with birthing a new age, right? Um, 
you know, it's all very beautiful. It's all very divinely orchestrated. And, um, you know, those of us on the twin flame journey right now, we're leaders. We're just um, showing humanity that there is another way, you know, out of the separation consciousness, out of, uh, you know, miserable relationships, out of, you know, anything not aligned with divine love. So, yes, sometimes this might feel exhausting. This might feel sad even or isolating or lonely. But, um, you know, know that you're not on your own. There's a beautiful community just, um, you know, waiting for you to claim it. Um, the Twin Flames Universe community really comes to mind here. Uh, I'm so grateful for it. And, um, yeah, it's just so supportive and it feels so good to be part of a community that understands what you're going through and also will help you here and has a solution to the issue. And, you know, Twin Flame Separation is um, not something to be afraid of because there is a solution to it and uh, there is a method here in place to heal it fully. So it's all about you choosing to commit to the journey, make the effort. Like, uh, what parts of your consciousness need the love here? And just give those parts of you the love and uh, really keep going deeper with the divine. And, um, you know, <laughs> great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so every step you're guided to take in every moment you're creating a new world for yourself and for others and this world is very abundant very beautiful something to celebrate with so this week is all about again letting go of the old and bringing in new energy new new abundance new love and um it's all very beautiful and uh feels very loving and very supportive and I'll repeat what I said, like, for the Divine Feminines, you're not making the effort for some girl out there, right? <laughs> for some person out there. You're making the effort for yourself. You know, you want to feel good uh, within yourself and with yourself. So this is why you're doing all this healing work, first and foremost, to have a relationship with your creator, with yourself. And from this place, your twin flame will be magnetized to you instantly. It will be like this, like, yeah, <laughs> super quick, super easy. But uh, for this, you need to have foundation of self-love, of self-respect, and of really good communication with yourself. I'm getting from some of you, like, committing to yourself and being like, ah, I'll kind of love myself here, but not fully. And, you know, if you don't fully choose to commit to yourself, to love yourself and to communicate with yourself, how do you expect your twin flame to choose those things for you? You know, your divine feminine cannot make your choices for you. This is something you need to take responsibility for, and it's actually very empowering that, hey, nobody can take away from you, you know, all those beautiful things like self-love, self-respect, and, um, you know, your relationship with yourself. It's all up to you. And, you know, not even your twin flame with whom you share one consciousness can make those choices for you. This is all up to you. And whatever the divine is guiding you to heal right now is for you to heal. Don't wait for your divine feminine to heal something she's not guided to heal. You know, if you're aware of it, you're responsible for it, as my um, spiritual teachers say. And it's actually very correct. You know, you hold some pieces of the puzzle, she holds some pieces of the puzzle. And uh, it's not the same pieces because there wouldn't be any purpose of, to it if you have the same thing. But it will always be complementary. So, yeah, just um, lots of great blessings this week for you, Divine Masculines. And so this is all I have for you this week. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, feel free to click the like button and subscribe to this channel for more juicy Twin Flame readings. If you would like a personal Twin Flame reading from me, uh, there's a link in my description for that. I would be really happy to do one for you. So, yeah. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.